Oh my gosh, bro. This Tesla's high beams are so bright. Bro, turn off your high beams. What? Turn off your high beams. Those are my high beams. These are my high beams. Ah. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be upgrading the lighting in the CRZ. If Teslas can run around with their super bright headlights that are all eye level, because they're all SUVs, I swear, that pierce into the back of my skull, then I can upgrade the lighting in my CRZ. The CRZ came with Xenon main running lights, so unfortunately, we can't upgrade those unless we wanna spend thousands of thousands of dollars. But the high beams are actually your standard HB4 size bulb. So those are the ones that we're going to be replacing. From what I see on the forums, the halogen bulbs that came in the CRZ output roughly 2,000 to 3,000 lumens, which is super dinky and super lame if you ask me. Luckily, my friend Jackson at Oxito has sent me the LED light upgrade, and this is going to be super duper bright. On their website, they're saying it's 24,000 lumens. I don't know exactly how lumens works, but 24,000 is 10 times bigger than the 2,000 to 3,000 lumen figure that the halogens were showing. So, 10 times! That's a lot of light. So, we're gonna bust these open and we're gonna get rid of our old halogens and upgrade them to LEDs. Modern. ourselves some gloves, zip ties, some washers, product manual, and of course the bulbs themselves. Sheesh! These look pretty serious. Oh, I love how they're like pretty solid metal. If they're gonna provide me with gloves, I'm gonna wear the gloves. They're a little bit small, but I guess I'm just a big-handed man. Anyways, there are the bulbs that we're gonna replace. Looking straight back, we'll see that there is a plug right here. So that is what we're gonna unplug first. And I believe there's a plastic cap that gets twisted out. Right in here. So this cap gets twisted out. And then on the inside, there's a little harness that connects the cap to the LED or the old halogen bulb. There you go, got the main harness off the cap. Now I just gotta unclip the cap harness from the light. There you go. So this piece can come out. Hopefully you can see there's better access to the bulb in there. And from there, we're just gonna twist this bulb out and uh, finagle it and jiggle it out. And there we go. Look how dinky this old halogen looks compared to these new ones. This looks like some serious hardware. All right, just gonna finagle this LED into the socket in there. And we also have this box here. I think I'm probably just gonna let it dangle, I think, because it has to stay within here because the cap goes here. Should be fine. Should be okay. Nice, we are locked and loaded. And then once that bulb is installed in the socket, we're gonna take this end and clip it into this cap harness. Make sure it goes the right way. And then we're gonna try to tuck the box and everything into this area here so that the cap can go back on. Hmm. Definitely a finagle moment. There we go. That definitely took so much finagling, but we are good. It's the daytime right now, so it might be a little hard to see, but those are the old lights, and these are the new ones. I'd say quite a bit brighter. Also, I like the, uh, the white. I think white looks better than the, than the yellow. Ooh, that's a good comparison. We'll take it out later at night so you can see like for sure just what the difference is, but you can tell. You can tell that's bright, bright. 
driver's side install is probably going to be more or less the same. It's just that there's a little bit less space here on that side. Tons of hand space, but on this side, we got our battery in the way. So it might take out the battery and get into that gray plug right here. Definitely not a lot of space, dog. bulb and the harness came out. This part is the harness that goes inside the little cap thing. I'm just gonna pry it here. There we go. Here's a fun fact. I'm not sure if it's true for all LEDs, but it's definitely true for Oxido. As you can see, there's three prongs on the outside here that help align the light inside the socket. And I want the lights to be upright like that. And so since my socket doesn't perfectly align with these tabs, you can actually take an Allen key to a hole found right here. And then there's a screw in there. So if you take an Allen key and loosen that screw, you can actually rotate these three prongs to get your perfect alignment. That's pretty cool. It also rotates here. So cool, good to know. Pro tip. And then just gonna reattach our new Oxito one. And then begins the tedious effort of threading this whole package back in. And lastly, just tuck everything in, put the cap on, and we're good to go. Just gotta toss the battery back in. So it's actually way easier for cutting me to take the battery out. Nice. We are all done. Uh, my hands are a little uh, dirty, so shout out to Oxito for setting up these white gloves. One thing to note in this clip here, when I flash my high beams, you'll see my fog lights turn off. That's just a common Japanese car thing. They don't want you to have high beams and your fog lights on at the same time. But I actually upgraded my fog lights to LED bulbs already, and they were actually way brighter than my old halogen high beams. So I was actually putting out less effective light when I was flashing my high beams. Oh my gosh, that's so bright. We find ourselves in a super dark field. You can't see anything, so there's no lights here. But this is basically what my old lights would have been like, absolutely nothing. And here's what my current high beams are like. Pretty crazy. As you can see, super far in the distance. Like, you can see that fence down there, all the way down there, and that's pretty far away. So these lights do a crazy job. Which you can tell like just on camera, in person, just how far out that is. Crazy. And that is going to conclude today's video. Once again, huge shout out to Jackson over at Oxito for setting these LEDs over. They are so crazy, mind-bogglingly bright. I'm so happy with them. If you want to set for yourself, the link will be down in the description below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. That's so bright. <laughs> yep, okay. Those are the Oxido LEDs. And now for the normal halogens. Bro, those are so weak! Yikes. <laughs> the commentary! Yo, those are so weak! Yikes! <laughs> <laughs>